Hi there everyone, it's Yako here. It's been a while, I've been busy with all kinds of stuff and recently I just got finally time to do some of my own substances and these are the ones that I came up with this ice pattern here, this uh, lake ice uh, uh, material which I was inspired by my old uh, hometown where I lived, there was this lake and I was able to watch this type of like uh, ice details and everything like that. It was a really nice uh, big lake and I used to skate on that lake when I was a child. So yeah, um, it brings back all memories and now it's getting really hot here in Japan. So watching these kind of cool uh, ice, snow type of things makes me feel really cool. So yeah, um, I'd like to sort of uh, show you guys how I came up with this effect, this uh, sort of layering thing. So when we uh, approach the material creation of uh, creating uh, creating this type of uh, like uh, uh, realistic type of materials it's good to sort of approach that in sort of layers that that you look at the reference you see the eyes and you see that there's a deba base layer and then there is uh, some details above that and then there's like a the, the base layer, for example, there's uh, some bubbles and things like that, uh, which are captured, frozen in the eyes, and then there is uh, cracks or, or something like that, and there's some surface details on the on the uh, ice surface, and then you've got snow and things like that. So, um, yeah, let's uh, jump right in and see how I used a couple of tricks to create this type of surface. So here I have the, the main graph, which is composed of two different graphs, this ice graph and then this snow graph. And I'm using a material a blend node in here to mix that. So I'm just going to maybe adjust this a little bit because now the height is a little bit too much. So I'm going to go in here and just uh, dial down the scale value because it's just <laughs> too, too much. So yeah, so you can see that um, I'm blending between these two, this uh, snow material, which is on graph, and then the ice, which has uh, some details on its own, but the, the snow is really uh, the separate graph, the snow that you can see that's kind of piled, and then it's kind of frozen to the lake surface here. So um, this uh, material blend node is, is really very powerful, um, powerful node. So so what, what this takes is that you just uh, drag some of those green noodles. So if you click like, um, one of those and then you hit the one you can see those uh, individual channels that are fed in and if, if you press uh, number three you can uh, make this into the compact uh, noodle mode so you can also select here you have standard material and compact material like so so um, I like to to keep it in the compact material when I'm dealing with uh, material nodes such as this and then what I've done is that I just uh, use clouds and then the levels to that and then did some directional warp to sort of give it a little bit of that wind sort of that the wind has been blowing out this uh, snow and then used um, uh, yeah so this was directional warp so I'm feeding this to the material blend node in here and then I also I wanted to sort of blend this because it looks a little bit sharp so what I did is in the albedo channel is that I wanted to blend a little bit those um, albedo value so that it looks like it's really like frozen into the in the lake surface and so on so this material blend is, is really uh, I really like this I'd also like to show you a couple of other tricks that I use when I'm blending materials together so for example I did this uh, frozen rocks thing recently uh, I'm really into making snowy and frozen materials these days but yeah, uh, this is one of the materials that I did. And you can see I'm again using material height blend in here. And I'm doing, uh, I'm just like feeding that uh, together. And then I'm using this height value. And this is really powerful. So what this does is that it looks the height values of those two materials. And then you get this really nice height offset. So I actually expose this. I'm just going to unexpose that so we, we can get. So you can see that we immediately we have a full control of the offset of the height. So we can do like that. We can adjust we, if you want to have less snow or more snow in it. And then you have this full control. And it's isn't this cool? Like you can just like adjust it like so. 
and and then and you 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 can just do that. Then you can expose those parameters, and you can also drive these parameters using uh, like uh, another. Uh, if you have if you want to go and change your height uh, channel here, for example, you can do that even if you're still if you're mixing the materials in this uh, main graph. If you say you can still get in here and change those things. I'm gonna show you uh, another example of that in a moment, but. But this material height plane, this is just absolutely brilliant. Um, it's really fast to come up with realistic results, and this looks really, actually, really nice. So, so I can actually go in here and um, try to to come up with something. I could actually maybe even try the eye ray if my computer doesn't crash. Uh, eye ray, really nice. You can get really nice renders in in Substance Designer just by using the eye ray. Uh, it's really, uh, I think this makes even more realistic results than Marvel's toolback. So you can come up with something like that. You maybe needs to put like a higher uh, values for those uh, scale, but yeah, it, it works pretty decent then. And if you use the height, you probably need to use like subdivision because uh, you need to have it because this is actually displacing real geometry. This isn't like a parallax uh, closing stuff. So. So yeah, you can do that, and then um, again come here um, and change the height, offset again of the snow, like so. So so it means like uh, if you drag the slider to the left, you can see we get less snow, and 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 I mean left left means that you get um, more snow, and right means like like so. You can if I just swap them around, then you you would get the opposite result, obviously. But yeah, you can see that just by using just by using one node and two materials, you can get realistic blending between those, and this is, I think, really, really cool, cool stuff. So, if you guys want to take a look at this frozen rocks uh, substance, I'm gonna put the link to the description so you guys can grab it for a couple of bucks from my Gumroad. If you want doing that, would also help me to support my continuation of this YouTube channel. If, if you're so inclined, just uh, grab this. Um, I'm gonna show you guys one more example of uh, what kind of tricks you can do with uh, height blends and material mix nodes. So I'm gonna go and uh, see if we can open up this uh, frozen stone wall. I'm actually still working with this. This isn't, this isn't really finished uh, material yet, but um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how uh, we can come up with something. So I've got this stone wall frozen material in here and yeah it actually seems to load pretty well even in iray so um maybe we can just rotate so we can get take a look at here so um you can see that i've got this uh frozen uh tile wall this kind of uh, stone wall type of a thing here and and what i'm doing in here is that i'm just uh blending uh, snow to to certain places you can see that snow is sort of gathering on top of the stones and also kind of getting between those stones so so the way how I've done that is that I've just used like a, a PBR base material here so I'm feeding all those um, uh, outputs those uh, albedo and those channels I'm feeding them to this PBR base material and then what this does is that it allows us to get into those green noodle things, so so it's much more easier to deal with that uh, when we just uh, deal with material uh, noodles. So uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm again using the material blend, and then uh, they're taking the same snow material, exactly the same material that I used in the lake uh, surface and also in the frozen rocks. So it's one of the materials if you're interested, again, um, you can get it from my gum rope. Yeah, uh, shameless advertisement, or should I say advertisement, like like the proper people in the Britain say. But yes, anyway, um, so um, what I'm doing here is that um, this material blend is, this is the main mix node, but what I'm doing here is that I'm also using a height blend. So I'm using this height blend node to 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 sort of drive uh, sort of like uh, the blending between so that the snow is sort of uh, gathering on those areas that are, uh, are sunk in to the surface and again we have a uh, height offset in here which 
which works just fine. We can uh, adjust the height offset of that snow and then you can see that it, it gives immediate feedback. We get the immediate feedback how it works. So if I want to put more snow, we just drag this to the right and we get like really snow evolved like that but then uh, we also want obviously snow to gather on those top of those uh, stones so what I've done here is that I've got this real nice mask and what this is it is actually emboss node so uh, it's all over like all the way here what I've done is that I used emboss um, uh, and then I was using uh, like taking this height map and I'm feeding this to the emboss node, the intensity input. I'm just feeding a black color here. This is a color node, so don't be uh, confused about it. You can use, um, sometimes we just um, need to use those color nodes and then just, again, convert them back to the grayscale because, well, I don't know, there's no, there, it would be nice if there's a special node just for this purpose that, that we can able to get this type of effects. But yeah, so I'm just using the emboss node to get those uh, areas that are uh, sort of like uh, how to say uh, so that we can get uh, masked out those areas that are sort of exposed from uh, kind of from the y-axis I don't know I don't know what I'm talking here but yeah like you get the idea that that uh, you sort of like you can change the light angle so uh, obviously if, if the wind was blowing from the from the right here then you would obviously do that but yeah uh, maybe in our case, the snow falls from above. I learned that much from when I was in Finland. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's the idea. So, so I'm blending those, uh, making the masks in that way. So I've got the height blend. We, we get some uh, data from the height blend, uh, height mask. I'm oh, sorry, height blend node in here. And then I'm blending that with the embossed data and it's just running some levels in here. And I'm just uh, I'm, I was noticing that I get like uh, extreme values on those uh, uh, crevices in here and didn't look nice when the snow was like like uh, sticking out from those crevices so I actually uh, uh, hide that by using the subtract and getting like a mask in here I'm just uh, taking these and just uh, masking out those uh, crevices because it didn't look nice because not the snow wouldn't like fly magically into those crevices I guess or it would, it might actually cover those. I might need to do some more work <laughs> work on that. But like, yeah, so what I'm doing here is blending those together and, and I can also uh, control the the sort of the balance between these two, two guys in here. So something like this might actually look more, more realistic and then I might be able to come here and I want to actually be able to, to sort of like uh, reduce this effect uh, of the snow like so something like this mode that might actually be nicer that that snow is really kind of like stuck between those uh those yeah those crazy anyway so just uh figured out maybe this might be who knows better so yeah this was just a um, little look on how to use material blends in substance designer it's very powerful uh node and powerful tool so definitely recommend to check these guys out so yeah i hope you find this little introduction to my materials useful and yeah if you are interested about substance check out my other videos i've got like a bunch of them there and also like about 3d modeling and things like that so so yes um i think this is it um if you have any comments or any suggestions if you notice that i did something wrong or if you notice that uh, there's a better way to do something that i did just leave the comment that would be really nice so yeah nice to see you guys this was Yako. i'll see you next time bye bye